हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आई एम डॉक्टर सोनू यादव टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज आर बी सी इंडिस नाउ वॉट इज इंडिस और इंडेक्स एन इंडेक्स इज अ क्वान्टिटेटिव मेजरमेंट ऑफ एनी थिंग दे फोर अ रेड ब्लड सेल इंडेक्स means a quantitative measurement of red blood cells the amount and concentration of hemoglobin in them so today's topic of discussion is rbc indices that is the quantitative measurement of red blood cells the amount and concentration of hemoglobin in them these are the three important red cell indices that is mean corpuscular volume that is mcv mean corpuscular hemoglobin mch and the last one is mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration these are the three most important red blood cell indices that is एम सी वी एम सी एच एम सी एच सी एम सी वी इज मीन कॉर्पस्कुलर वॉल्यूम एम सी एच इज मीन कॉर्पस्कुलर हिमोग्लोबिन एम सी एच सी इज मीन कॉर्पस्कुलर हिमोग्लोबिन कंसनट्रेशन नाउ द पर्पज वाई डू वी स्टडी आर बी सी इंडिसिस it is to correlate the fundamental result obtained in cbc to verify the result obtained in complete blood count also useful to classify anemia now for calculation of various rbcs indices we have to calculate hemoglobin hematocrit and rbc count the values of hemoglobin hematocrit and rbc count must be known so now how to calculate hemoglobin there are various methods like sahali's acid hematin method sine meth hemoglobin method gasometric method chemical method and specific gravity method these are the various methods used for measuring hemoglobin concentration sine meth hemoglobin is the standard method now the concentration is in gram per deciliter now the normal range for hemoglobin is 12 approximately 12 to 16 gram per deciliter now coming on to hematocrit what is hematocrit it is the ratio of volume of erythrocytes to that of the whole blood and is reported as percentage it can be measured by using micro method and macro method the normal range of hematocrit is in males it is approximately 38.8 to 46.4 percentage in females it is 35.4 to 44.4% now coming on to the red cell count it is the number of red blood cell per microliter of blood normal range is approximately 4 to 5.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 per microliter so for calculating the rbc indices we must know the value of hemoglobin hematocrit and rbc its unit is gram per deciliter hematocrit is in percentage and it is in per microliter of blood now mcv mean corpuscular volume it is the average volume of red blood cell it provide information on the red cell size as it is an average volume of red blood cell 
it is measured in femtoliters very important its unit it is measured in femtoliters which is denoted as fl 1 femtoliter is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 15 liters with impedance analyzers automated analyzers the mcv is measured by averaging the amplitude of the pulses which are created as the cells pass through the aperture of the counter mcv it can be calculated manually by using the formula or it can be calculated by automated cell counter with the principle with impedance analyzers the mcv is measured by averaging the amplitude of the pulses which are created as the cell pass through the aperture of the counter now what is the formula for mcv pack cell volume by rbc in million into 10 this is the formula for mean corpuscular volume now the normal range is approximately between 79 to 89 femtoliter now if the mcv is these are the variations if mcv is less than 79 femtoliter then the red blood cell is denoted as microcytic because it tells us about the size of red blood cell it correlates with the size of red blood cell because mcv is the average volume of the red blood cell if it is within the normal limits then the cell will denoted as normocytic if the mcv is greater than 98 femtoliter then it is denoted as macrocytic now these are the conditions in which there are normocytic rbcs following acute hemorrhage aplastic anemia hypoplastic anemia anemia of chronic disease hemoglobinopathies and endocrinopathies these are the conditions in which there are normocytic red blood cells following acute hemorrhage and endocrinopathies hemoglobinopathies and anemias aplastic anemia hypoplastic anemia and anemia of chronic disease macrocytic rbcs include macro means big so most common example is megaloblastic anemia as megalo means big megalo you will observe macrocytic red blood cell big red blood cell liver disease post splenectomy pernicious anemia alcoholism anemia of hypothyroidism and drugs these are the examples of macrocytic red blood cell the most important one is megaloblastic anemia now microcytic rbcs the most common example is iron deficiency anemia disorder of porphyrin synthesis thalassemia and lead poisoning sometimes there is the well, the mcv is falsely increased or decreased the conditions for increased mcv cold agglutinins marked hyperglycemia marked leukocytosis and methanol poisoning these are the four conditions which interfere mcv there is false increase in the mcv decreased mcv that is in in vitro hemolysis now coming on to the next rbc indices that is mch mean corpuscular hemoglobin it is defined as amount of hemoglobin in a single red blood cell or average amount of hemoglobin in all the red cell it is directly proportional to the 
amount of hemoglobin and size of erythrocyte it is measured in picogram which is denoted as pg 1 picogram is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 12 gram it is very important the units unit for mcv is femtoliter unit of mch picogram now what is the formula for mch mch can be calculated when hemoglobin in gram per deciliter divided by rbc in million multiply by 10 the normal range is 26.7 to 31.9 picogram this is the normal range of mch now what are the variation if the mch is low then the cell is known as hypochromic hypochromasia if there is high mch it is denoted as hyperchromasia low hypo high hyper now what are the conditions of low mch and high mch low mch it is always associated with microcytic anemia and normocytic anemia this is the most important condition now high in macrocytic anemias low mch the most common example is microcytic anemia high mch macrocytic anemia now interferences in mch in vitro hemolysis high heparin concentration cold agglutinin marked leukocytosis these are the condition which lead to interference in mch that is mean corpuscular hemoglobin now coming to the third red blood cell indices that is mchc it is defined as the average hemoglobin concentration per unit volume of packed red cell it is expressed as gram per deciliter or percentage now what are the conditions of increased mchc or decreased mchc increased in hereditary spherocytosis auto agglutination infants and newborns and is decreased in microcytic hypochromic so we have observed in microcytic hypochromic there is low mcv low mch and low mchc all the three red blood cell indices are decreased in microcytic hypochromic condition and the most common example of microcytic hypochromic condition is iron deficiency anemia it is the nutritional deficiency anemia and is the most common cause of microcytic hypochromic red blood cell in this there is decreased in mcv mch and mchc all the three red blood cell indices are decreased so in today's lecture we have covered red blood cell indices or index what is index it is the quantitative measurement of red blood cells amount of hemoglobin so the most important rbc indices are mcv mch and mc hc mcv is mean corpuscular volume mch is mean corpuscular hemoglobin mchc is mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration now what are the units for all the three indices which is very important mcv femtoliter 
एम सी एच पिकोग्राम एम सी एच सी ग्राम पर डेसी लीटर और परसेंटेज